Tim Hogan is a teacher at Howell High School that has um, one of the largest autism spectrum disorder support programs in the state of New Jersey. Tim, good to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Tim, we're about to see a video, um, part of the Classroom Close-Up series produced by the New Jersey Education Association. Um, you're closely connected and committed to this initiative, um, connected to autism because? I have a child who's severely autistic, and this whole program all started because we've had some really bad experiences, our family, because he has autism. And one night I was on the boardwalk down the Spring Lake along the shore, and a lot of people, my son was having a behavior because dogs were being running loose, people were breaking the law, basically. And everyone kept telling me, oh, it's okay, it's okay, the dog's fine. Well, it wasn't fine. You were really blowing up his world. And I ended up having to drag him off the boardwalk in a headlock, and everyone just stopped and stared, and I could hear people saying things about what a bratty was and what a bad parent I was. And that night I went home and called this woman I work with, Mary Collins, and she has a group called the Anytowners, and they um, are about getting diversity in the schools. Mm. And I called her, and we, um, we started this assembly. So why don't we do this? Why don't we take a look at this video? We'll come back and talk. Because uh, I happen to know, as we know, the classroom close-up people put together some powerful stories, and here it is right now. Imagine that people may laugh at you because you act differently. Imagine that you may physically attack your family and teachers for reasons you cannot explain. Student peer leaders at Howell High School are spending a day speaking with their classmates to promote autism awareness and acceptance during National Autism Awareness Month. It's very important, especially uh, students in our school where we do have an autism program and we do interact with uh, children with autism, it's important to know how to interact with them. So that's why we, we really put this together. Howell is home to one of the largest high school autism spectrum disorder support programs in New Jersey. Do not stare or laugh at someone with autism just because they act differently. And do not put your arm around or hug someone with autism. Instead, offer a high five, handshake, or fist bump. Along with information, the students present short films that have connections to the school, including interviews with siblings of autistic students and a discussion with teachers who work in the ASD program. Though perhaps the most personal connection comes from business teacher Tim Hogan, who shares his family story. It is so isolating. Hogan became the driving force behind Howell's awareness program six years ago, following a challenging experience involving his son, Sean, who is on the autism spectrum. That night, I happened to be down on the boardwalk walking with my son, and some dogs were going by, and they started barking, and my son has issues with that, and he got up visibly upset, and everyone stopped and stared. The experience was not an isolated one, and Hogan decided he needed to do something to educate people how to interact with autism. So he reached out to fellow teacher Mary Collins about recruiting the peer leader group she advises, known as the Anytowners, to help inform the entire Howe community about autism. The Anytowners are nine seniors who were picked by the principal and myself, and we saw that these were the students in the school who really stood out as far as their leadership skills and their ability to make an inclusive environment in Howell High School. Hogan is deeply involved in the awareness efforts. During assemblies, he shares intimate details of his family's life through stories and a short film titled Autism Island. There's been so many horrendous things that have happened to my son and our family because he has autism. It was one of those horrendous things that sparked Howell's latest awareness initiative, asking students to take a pledge. And we can start by pledging to not say the R word or retard. That incident inspired the creation of a social media campaign and video that has drawn significant attention to the cause. Last year we launched this campaign. We had 190,000 views on Facebook all over the world. Australia, England, Ireland, most of the US states, all over Canada. So I, I do believe we're making a difference there. What's been the reaction? Oh, it was tremendous. The R word video, um, I don't hear it anymore from the kids. Just putting that out there about how, how hurtful that is. Because you know, you hear high schoolers talk, that just becomes part of their vocabulary. You know, instead of saying something stupid, they use the R word. And it really, I just don't hear it anymore. I used to hear it dozens of times a day. Explain to the rest of us 
everyone watching right now, why it hurts so much? Because he, to me, you're making fun of my son. You're making fun of anyone who has a physical or mental disability. Every time I hear that, I'm like, you're making fun of someone. It, you know, mental retardation is a diagnosis. And we have lessened it because of that slang term. But it's it, not funny, is it? Not at all. Not at all. And it's, it's hard. it really hurts me every single time I so hear it. So those of us who have used it and think we don't mean anything need to step back. Words matter. Words absolutely matter. And that's one of the words that really matter. And there's so many other words that can be used. And that was part of what we were trying to tell our students. Let's use something else. Um, your son's experience slash your family's experience, how has it changed you? Uh, it's, honestly, I wish I never knew what autism was because it is brutal to watch my son not have a normal life. He's never going to have, he doesn't have any friends. He's never going to live independently. He's going to be with my wife and I till the day he dies. And then from there, it's a huge question. I don't know where it goes from there. You know, there's, there's not a lot of funding. I go to a lot of seminars to find out about it. So it, 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 my whole life is autism. Where I live, where I work, I, I had a partner. I was a partnership, partner in an accounting firm on Wall Street. I gave it all up because, because of my son. So you're, you're saying that he won't be able to interact with other people? He, he goes, no, no. He, his vocabulary is very, not his vocabulary, his ability to speak is mm. like a three-year-old. Yeah. Um, he gets very aggressive. Like in the video, you saw him ha with these blue headphones on. No matter yes. where we go, he wears headphones. So we now have him wearing these headphones uh, that have music in them. So they don't look as like there's something wrong with them. Right. Um, he wears them all the time out anytime we're outside the house because he's got so many issues. You know, like the local fire department, they were so great. The fire whistle was going off and it would send my son into a tizzy and he put holes in walls. He would physically come after me. I went to them, went to one of their meetings, and they were super. They, they turned the fire whistle off for they us. They cared. Yeah, and then now we're doing it through, through electronic. What is it that, if you could send one message to everyone else right now, other than what you said about the R word, what's the message to all of those watching, all of us? People with autism are people. They never ask for this. They were born with this developmental disorder. And they're not doing anything wrong in life. And if you see someone where you think, oh, maybe he's a brat, whatever, no, think about it. It may be something else. And show some compassion to these people because people with autism are the most genuine people in the world. Like my son has attacked me. I can't even tell you how many times. But he's the most genuine piece, pe person in the world. There's no hatred in him. There's no bigotry. There's none of that. People with autism don't have that. They're just the most honest, genuine people in the world. And you've got to know where they are at all times. So we just assume, and we're often wrong. You assume? We assume when someone acts a certain way, we know why, and we don't very often. True, absolutely. You just assume, well, it's because the kid's a brat or, or an adult. I mean, and we're seeing the population of people with autism is just growing, and we're going to have adults doing yeah. these type of things. Tim Hogan is a uh, teacher at Howell High School, which has one of the largest autism spectrum disorder support programs in the state of New Jersey and in the nation. Um, you're making a big difference. You just made a di big difference now. Thank you, Tim. Thank you for having me. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence, and 13 for WNET, NJTV, and WHYY. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, Passaic County Community College, New Jersey Council of County Colleges, MD Advantage Insurance Company of New Jersey, the Give Something Back Foundation, and by the North Ward Center. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.